So whenever you walk into the showroom to try out this jacket for the first time, you'll probably see that it's fitted with all the layers. Zip up the inner layer first. Go through this uh, protective storm cover or flap. This will prevent the water from actually hitting the zip because the zip might not be waterproof and might let water in. But this flap will have you covered for that. The outer layer zips up to the outer layer separately. As you can see, the zips are really easy to work on. Uh, it might take you a little more time when you have wearing gloves, but it's still possible. Now, we'll get down. So try your, uh, always try your jacket with all three layers in, so you know how it fits for size. Um, on a motorcycle jacket, don't try and test your flexibility because that's not the purpose of the jacket anyways. This is your riding stance and as long as you are comfortable here, you should be okay. Now, to get to the layers, remove the top flap, zip this up. An interesting feature of this zip is that it works both ways. So sometimes if you are sitting on your jacket and this one's a bit uh, tight, you can take it out. You can open it from the lower side for a little more comfort here. Cover. Uh, for removal, if you loosen your cuff a little bit, it's slightly easier to get the jacket on and off. This is the inside uh, part of the jacket. You can see that the first, the innermost layer is the thermal layer, which is attached by two zips to the rain layer, to the waterproof layer. And then also a little thing here at the back and some loops in the sleeve as well. So what you need to do is get, the, get these loops off. The red tab matches the red loop. Again, we do that for this side as well. Don't be shy of pulling it instead of, I mean, if you try and reach it deep inside and try and do, you might not be able to really see or feel what you're doing. So just pull it out, open the loops. Take out the two zips. And it's just simply, Pull out the thermal layer. You can sort of fold it and put it as not required. The next layer we see here is the waterproof layer. Now this has all got black uh, loops, so that's why we'll differentiate between your the red loops of your thermal layer and the black loops of your waterproof layer. Uh, same thing. If you want to take this out, again just disengage all the loops. In this configuration, what we have is a waterproof jacket. It's not the outer layer of the jacket that makes it waterproof, but it's this inner layer that we just want to pull out from here. It again, comes with its own independent zip. And this is pulled out. Now what we have left with us is a really nice uh, jacket which can be worn in all uh, conditions even hot there's a lot of stuff that you can do for airflow on the chest you'll see we have two the pockets we open up and snap in place here so that's some airflow going to you so going to straight to your chest same way on this side Then you also have a double opening zipper on your sleeve, so you can even use this to get some sleeve into your arms. The 
There's also two exhaust vents, so don't forget these. That's at the back of the jacket. All your hot air is going to come out from your back. As the air passes through, the hot air will come out from here. Now that we're here on this side, we have here is a document pocket. It's not waterproof, but you can use a waterproof uh, container or an envelope to keep uh, some stuff here, some snacks, some food, or your papers. Now that we have it in the summer mode, You can still use these pockets here as you can see there's a lot of airflow from the chest and the sleeves you can cuff this or even leave this open a bit if you want to have a slightly loose feeling uh, and of course uh, a little bit of air is going to come in through the top zip also but we recommend you keep this closed There's, a, there's an adjustable uh, function here, so depending on how how tightly you want it around your neck, you can move this button, and then this is going to snap in place to close the jacket. The pockets have uh, two accesses. One is through the sides. You can use these as hand warmer pockets in case it's uh, cold or you don't want to leave your hands exposed. Or you can keep something and then securely zip it up. So you be confident that when you're riding, it's not going to fall off from the side. But do remember to zip up the things that you keep here. Now these are two waterproof pockets that closes. Um, as you can see, the pocket extends over the fold. So when you close it, no water is going to get in here. On the wrist also you have two positions where you can close it for a more snug and tighter fit. And again while we're moving. protective qualities that are offered uh, by this jacket so all the protection is in the outer layer so irrespective of whether you're wearing the thermal layer or the rain liner your protective qualities are always uh, maintained whether in the summer or the winter configuration you have protection on the on the shoulder here on the elbows and there is a foam back protector provided in case you want to upgrade this uh, you can go with a harder protector at the back as well uh, this is another interesting feature you must have seen a lot of jackets uh, come with this but uh, unfortunately we don't see too many people using this what you require is that you open this part completely and stitch it to your uh, pant uh, if it's if it's a Royal Enfield pant, then the Royal Enfield pant will have a piece like this. Or even if you're going to wear it with jeans or any other casual pants, you can just stitch this to your jeans, and then that will allow you to attach your uh, jacket to your pants, so it doesn't ride up from the back. And. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Kardumla jacket from Royal Enfield. This, what you're seeing here now, is the olive green color. You also get it in all black in case uh, that's what you're after. And it's really, it's really a nice uh, three-season garment to live and ride with. Thank you.